Hey guys, Jason Cipriani here, a Cena How To contributor, and today I'm going to show you how to browse your Instagram feed on your iPad without having to use the Instagram app. Let's take a look. All right, so let's take a look at Instapad. Instapad is an app for the iPad that allows users to browse their Instagram feed directly on the iPad. Now, this is different than installing the Instagram app and blowing it up to two times and using it on uh, the iPad when that Instagram app is designed for the iPhone. So it, it works okay, but at the same time, you don't get that iPad experience where this app is specifically built for it. Um, so what I have here is I have my feed pulled up, and what this is is photos that all the people I follow have uploaded recently. Um, if I wanted to view on one, I tap on the photo. I could swipe in either direction to switch between the photos. If I want to like a photo, I tap on the heart. If I want to view how many likes or who's liked it, you can tap on the icon over here. Also see what comments have been left or leave a comment myself. All right, now to get back to the feed, just tap on the photo again and it minimizes. If we tap on the icon or the option up here, we'll have my photos, I can view the photos I've uploaded to Instagram, my followers, who I'm following, photos I've liked in the past, as well as the popular photos that are currently posted and selected uh, and listed on the popular page. So once this pulls up, I'm gonna show you another feature that's built into the app. Um, let's pick that photo there. And now you'll notice up here is send postcard. This is, actually uses sincerely ship Sincerely's SHIP SDK, which allows any app to send a picture and have it printed out and sent as a postcard for a fee. Now, when you tap on this, you're warned, make sure you have the copyright approval from whoever took or uploaded the photo um, before you send it off. I don't know who this is. I don't have approval. I'm gonna go ahead and tap yes anyways. And there you go. There's a Sincerely SHIP SDK. You would follow through the process, um, pay, whatever it is that they charge, and send that Instagram photo as a postcard. But I'm gonna back out, that's not my photo, and I don't feel comfortable doing that. So we'll go back to my feed. All right, so that's Instapad. It's a quick look at it. It allows you to browse your Instagram feed on the iPad. This is Jason Cipriani with CNET How To. Make sure to visit us at howto.cnet.com for more great tech tips.